It's been a busy and rewarding year for the Canada Aviation and Space Museum. With the Canada Science and Technology Museum closed until late 2017, it's also been a privilege to help out by hosting some of their programming. One of the year's greatest successes was the exhibition, Star Trek, the Starfleet Academy Experience, which opened on May 13, 2016. The Starfleet Gala, held the night before, was a sold out success, featuring special guest William Shatner and the Minister of Canadian Heritage. It was attended by more than a thousand people, setting the stage for a successful summer run. Together, Star Trek, the Starfleet Academy Experience, and the Starfleet Gala generated more than nine and a half million social media impressions. Part of this year's Star Trek experience was a Star Trek themed summer camp where youth had an opportunity to go where no kid has ever gone before. In a similar vein, we launched the book Star Trek, the official guide to our universe in August 2016. Written by astronomer Andrew Fizikas, the book featured a foreword by Captain Kirk himself. Published by National Geographic, it explores the actual science behind the TV show and movies. Our summer in space also included an astronaut event at the museum in July. What does it take to be an astronaut? An evening with Canadian astronauts Jeremy Hansen and Robert Thirsk sold out at the museum and was streamed live on Facebook. But although we love exploring the final frontier, the museum also spends considerable time on conventional aviation. This past year, we updated a large portion of our floor display, adding new information on our outstanding collection of aircraft. We also acquired a massive Hercules C-130 cargo aircraft, the workhorse of military and humanitarian missions around the world. We continue to engage with our audiences in innovative ways. We are currently putting the finishing touches on the third installment of our popular Ace Academy app. The app allows players to take to the skies during the First World War. To date, the first two installments have been downloaded more than 300,000 times in 185 countries. Commemoration is also a major part of what we do. This year, we once again hosted events in honour of Operation Mana, Battle of Britain, among other things. And we're just about to launch the Legacy Project. This six-part video series features numerous interviews with flyers, support staff and civilians from the Second World War. Produced largely by students, over the past couple of years it is a moving testament to the greatest generation. It's been an outstanding year. In the year ahead, I anticipate that we will continue to innovate, cementing the Canada Aviation and Space Museum's reputation as one of the top institutions of its kind in the world.